the first pitch of the 2024 season for both of these teams is a fastball for a strike. A little lamped up. Cut on and missed and down on strikes goes Devilon to start the season. Let's see what Dahl's up here on the 2-2 pitch. Got him on a high fastball and there are two outs. Got him swinging. Three up, three down as he strikes out the side in order here in the first inning. In his Horn Frog debut, that's for sure, with all the games he's played. And he starts his career with the Horn Frog soft with a single to left. And he's one of the guys who, when he's on base, has some speed. 285, 10 homers. There goes Chatagnier on the first pitch to throw down the second, not in time. And he walks on four straight pitches. He's going to try and stay right there. Payoff pitch coming to Tolley before it does. Time is called, and that is a pitch clock violation for ball four. Figuring out what the speed was like. Ripped in the center field for a base hit. Chatagnier scores. They'll hold Byrne at third, and then Tolley is caught wandering too far, and he's tagged out. He out of the plate. You see, not even flinching at that breaking ball out of the zone. And it takes ball four. In the air to straightaway center field. Povey has plenty of room, and he squeezes it for the final out of the inning. Got him swinging on a high fastball. Here's the one-two. Cut on and missed, and he struck him out. As a senior at San Clemente High School, and he rips this one down the line, and one hops the fence. Brunson with great speed, coasts into second base easily with a stand-up double, and welcome to Fort Worth, young man. I bet you all of them would like to be out there. Sam Stottenborough also in that group. On the ground right side, easy chance for Devilon, and he throws over to first base for the out. Let's see what your city dials up here, and he walks it. Maxwell hits it slowly to the right side. This will get a run home. Maxwell almost beats it out. The throw to first is in time for Logan Maxwell. This one hit on the ground, knocked down by the first baseman, and he flips to the pitcher. Kavanaugh coming to bag for the out. Raring back and firing fastballs here. And he strikes him out on three straight pitches. Bowen set up on the inner half, however. That pitch was on the outside. Line towards right. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Up now with a runner at first base, one away, and that pitch hits him. In the dirt, blocked by Carson Bowen, but it gets away from him, and both runners will advance 90 feet. Fastball missed inside, and they're loaded up. 3-1, you can be really selective if you're Farrow at the plate. And he is working for the windup here. This ball's in the air to left field. Logan Maxwell on the run, can't get to it. As it drops in for a base hit, a run will score. Totally, this one's chopped on the ground. Fair ball off of Riders. Robinson's glove down into the left field line. Two run score. They're going to wave the runner all the way around from first. He will score. And the Eagles take the lead three to two. Here's the pitch from Tolley. And that hit him. Got him swinging. Looked like he took a little something off the breaking ball. Totally deals. On the ground, couple of hops. Chatagnier has it. And the inning is over. But not before the Eagles take the lead. I would say the last out, but the last out of the stretch where we saw they don't. And Florida Gulf Coast fights their way back. There's a base hit through the right side for Cole. The throw goes to Second base, but in the air, deep right center field. This ball is carrying, and it is gone. It's a three-run home run for Ian Farrow, and it's a 7-2 Florida Gulf Coast lead here in the fourth inning as Farrow drives one out of the ballpark. You mentioned the wind earlier. As it's blowing, this is an elevated fastball, and Farrow gets the fat part of his bat to it. Puts a good swing on it and carries it out to deep right center. And with two men on, and straight away against Maxwell. 
And he strikes out looking on a fastball. Curtis reaches out, skies it to center field. Easy chance for Povey. And he makes the catch for the final out of the inning. In the air, left side. A wind blowing this back into fair territory. He's going to drop in for a base hit. And when it's all said and done, Carson's got Bowen standing on second base. On the ground, that one's going to get through for a base hit. Bowen winding around third, and he'll head home. Bowen scores standing up, and it's an RBI base hit off the bat of Luke Boyers. Brunson probably looking for something a little further up. Got ball four here. Endear himself to the home fans here with a base hit off the end of the bat. And it's caught on a fly by the third baseman. Back in the fourth. That one through the middle for a base hit and a three for three night for the num the eight hole hitter of the fifth. This one is drilled to deep left field and it is out of here. Second home run of the night for the Eagles. This one a two run shot off the bat of the catcher Mac Moise and it's now a 9-3. Florida Gulf Coast lead and we talked at the top of the broadcast that they lost a lot of their home run power from last year I'm not so sure about that they got two big long ones tonight well it might not be lost it might just be different names you see Moise getting extended on this one and gets a nice long look at it got him swinging That's from somebody who uh, knows all about that Check swing, did he go around? He did. And a big strikeout. Battery face to struck out the next two, trying to get out of a jam. Hit on the ground, right to Silva. And Silva will take it to the bag himself for the final out of the inning. Silva hits it high in the air, deep left field. McKee back at the track, at the wall, see ya! Anthony Silva with his first home run of the year and he pulls the Horn Frogs one run closer and that ball got up in the air it just kept going how good he ended up last year the stellar freshman campaign this is a fastball that really rises up above the belt Silva you see how smooth it is gets the barrel to it ripped towards deep left center field this ball if it's high enough is out and it is gone Brunson scorches a line drive over the left center field wall. That kind of one on him was a rocket. Now the second laser beam we've seen off the bat of Chase Brunson. And this is an absolute bullet out to left center field. You see the spinner over the plate. Goes right down and get it. Very similar swing to what we saw from Silva. The pitch is just lower in the zone. And Chartier does a great job. Get on base. Chartier takes off. Maxwell skies this one to shallow right field. Chartier has to play it halfway. And the ball gets dropped. And Chartier is able to get to second because the throw is high. DC wanting to cash in with Curtis Byrne. That's rolled towards the gap in left center field. It's going to get down for a base hit. Chartier rounding third. He'll head home and score. And the White Frogs now trail 9-6 here in the eighth. In this situation, 2-1 pitch to Tolly. Off the end of the bat, a little flare towards the left side. The wind's playing it, and the ball's going to drop in for a base hit. Logan Maxwell's able to get to third after having to hold up in another wind-blown Lupton Stadium. Lined in the right field, that's a base hit. A run scores. John DeLora will hold Curtis Byrne at third. And it's now a 9-7 ball game with the bases still loaded and nobody out. He'll take off on a pop-up. On the ground, could be two. They go to second for one. No play at first, a run scores to make it a 9-8 ball game. Winning run out and scoring position if you're Florida Gulf goes. Ball four, and Boyers draws the walk to reload the bases to tag and score. This one's driven to deep center field. This should do it. Povey back, has room, makes the catch. 
Arthur tags, heads to home, and he'll score as the other base runners advance as well. And it's now a 9-9 ball game as TCU has struck for four runs here in the inning. Full count, here's the payoff pitch, cut on and missed, and Robinson strikes out to end the inning. Here's the 0-2 pitch, Nicole on the ground, right side, Chatney right there, and the inning is over. Ball four, he draws a walk. There goes Chatney, got a good jump to throw down the seconds, not in time. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Swing and a miss, got behind the catcher. Arthur's hustling down to first base. The throw, not in time, gets away. Chardonnay's going to try and score, and he does! The ball game is over. Although the umpires want to take a look at it, the ball went back to the backstop. Arthur headed to first base. The question is, did he interfere with the throw? Where do you even start with this play? It's all the way back to the backstop. See, Jack Arthur doesn't even realize it. And you can see that throw just as on the opposite side of the base. Over at first from where Robert Moya is. And Chatney does a great job of just hustling home. And, and that call stands. This ball game is over. The Horn Frogs come back and score in the bottom half of the ninth inning on a crazy, crazy play.